I'll say thank you, John, for uh, being the reporter at Stonely. And thank you for letting me be the fly on the wall <laughs> at this I end. A, I had an absolutely brilliant time at Stonely. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It, amazing. I mean, it, it was a great opportunity for us to do something a little bit different. And I really enjoyed it. But in particular, it gave me pause to look at a number of different manufacturers and uh, do some drilling down. And that's what we want to do today is do a, a bit of a def, deep dive. Def, def, definitely. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, I picked up on certainly uh, most manufacturers. There's a lot of technology that's coming in now. Mm -hmm. um, they are getting prepared for it, which we, we can touch on, which is why some of them are running different ECUs. Um, that will actually handle things like, uh, you know, ABS or traction control or launch yeah. control. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're already thinking about it. And, um, yeah, it's it's the it's these manufacturers that are actually pushing it for the kit car owners. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, whereas before, I mean, we've not even got servo assist on our brakes, yeah. for instance, you know, and you have to give them a real good shove to get it stopped. But, the, the, you know, they are they are taking all of this on board and it yeah. will be, I mean, well, it, 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 it already is on some of the cars. Yeah. And the suspension as well, Jim, which I know you've got a couple of videos that we can have a look at. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 coming on a leap and bounds, and it, that, it, that will get the, that will get your track um, times down as well. Well, that's and that's just exactly why I, did, why I wanted to do the drill down on uh, XCS because they've got uh, the anti-roll and, can, and uh, uh, camber uh, compensation suspension, and I've but, known about they, it a bit before. Only, yeah, because they, because we did a um, a shop tour with uh, Gary Sanders uh, uh, some time ago. And I was introduced to it and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. You know, the, the fact that you can keep the wheels completely planted. But on, at that time, it was, they were using it on their Cobras and, and on their Rushes, but only on the front suspension. That's, that's and correct. And what we're gonna look at right now is the complete they've, car. They've, they've, now put it, they've now put it on the rear as well. And I've, yeah. I've, I don't know of many that have got it both front and rear. Uh, no. I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, I know AK sports cars with the Cobras definitely have it on the front. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, as I say, there's a lot of things developing, which, you know, unless you go and speak to the manufacturers and, and look at the cars, you, you wouldn't really know. Mm -hmm. Well, why, why don't we take a moment to, to, you know, I've got the video of uh, that you uh, were kind enough to record and you're you and felix my, recorded my, at, at stonely and my, let's have a look my, at that i'll walk around on a phone and, and headphones but yeah <laughs> well you know. it, it we're using the technology technology that we got so let's let's yes. go and have a look at that and yep. uh and we'll have a chat we'll go what from there think? yeah yeah cheers right. jim say that they had an impressive stand and that car was stunning yeah um, and just brilliant and i should just say that everything that we got here is coming from uh, their facebook page and their web page as well as some of the parts pages so let's have a drill down and see what we got here yeah if, if, if you're into sevens and obviously we are definitely worth visiting their their facebook page this is jim Jewell from seven spot and i just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us and i'm just a big 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 lover of XCS and I've been waiting to see this this little baby here and I was wondering if you could tell us about the engine um, that you're running there the, the K24 and and with the bit of boost that you're doing and I'm really interested to find about what how you're putting the power to to the differential have you done some some upgrades on the transmission as well oh right, well I'll talk you through it Jim uh, yeah. basically it's uh, Honda K24 yeah, this is just a mock-up engine at the minute, but we've teamed yeah. up with uh, Four Piston Racing in the States. Yes, lovely. Uh, so they're building us a thousand horsepower uh, endurance engine. Oh my! Um, and then we coupled that to a T56 Magnum gearbox. Wow! We and we made an adapter plate, so they're available from our shop soon. Um, and then we're running a Sadef uh, rear diff. Um, I think the only we're going to try the gearbox. We know they're good for 750 horsepower because uh, we put V8s for them all the time. Yeah. But if it becomes a weak link, then we'll just stick a SADIF sequential yeah. in it. Yeah. Absolutely point. fabulous. I mean, 
<laughs> with the uh, with that suspension setup that you have, it's just a truly a monster. Yeah, we're well, familiar with the camera conversation. Yeah. In Iran, so. Yeah. But this has got it on the rear as well. We've done it front and back this time. Oh, lovely. And and it has a D on uh, rear suspension as well? No, it's a camber comp rear suspension. So okay. It's essentially All right. the same as the front. All right. But on the rear. Okay, fabulous. Wow. Well, thank you so much. This is just no been, Yeah, you've made my day. Yeah. All right, Jim. Take care. Right. Cheers. Um, this, this is what I said. I mean, it's, it's the likes of GBS as well. Um, yeah. You know, that they're, 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 you know, they're already running with the ECUs that can handle all of this. Mm -hmm. Look at they said a little right. bit overkill unless you've got the wheel sensors on it, but yeah, it, it is coming. Mm -hmm. That blue one, you can see they've extended the uh, the, the the front chassis as well, and, yeah. the, and the bonnet and the nose. Yeah. And here we're going to take a look at the engine, and and this is what I found interesting. <laughs> I was just like, what? Yeah, that was K, a K, horsepower. K, K24 <laughs> with a thousand horsepower. Wow. And this is from uh, yeah fourpistonracing.com in the states. Yep. And this is a stout engine. Oh yeah. my god. And I mean, you and I are seriously guys. serious conrods on that. No kidding. Um, and it's because it, of the capacity, but it, it will handle that power. Yeah. And we like a high revving engine, and this is like 9700 uh, 9, RPM. Nine, yeah, nine seven hundred something like that. Yeah, and they yeah. they've got specially spec ways. Well, just pop them in there. There's special rings for it as well. Piston yeah. rings that, that can handle it as well. Just look at that, beautiful. Look at that head. Look at the size of the polished ports. It's massive. Yeah. And that's that's not even I mean the drag races go even more mental than that, but that's yeah. that's that's kinda of like toned down, but yeah, it's still well, it's still impressive from a K twenty four. Yeah. And it's gonna be reliable. Yeah. And all the titanium parts. And this is the challenge I think that, that it, they're going to have is look at the size of that um, turbo and the uh, intake plenum. Squeezing yeah. that all inside. Trying there. to get that all in. I mean, they, yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously they've extended one of the, well, it's the DAX, the DAX isn't as they're called. They've extended the nose cut on that, but the one that was at Stone was a mock up engine, so they, they already know it's going to fit. Mm -hmm. They know that part's going to fit for the plenum. Yeah. yeah. Make, so you're squeezing all that in. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> there might be, uh, yeah, might be a couple of holes in the bonnet. <laughs> yeah. won't, won't bother me. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. What's he got? Nine. 97. 97. Yeah, 9,700 revs. That's. And there's uh, the T56. Now, that, that transmission is, is stout. And oh, this is the you want to find out is camera yeah, compensation and, now, which yeah, I, I and you find all of this on their on their, on their website. Yeah, and, and here's the material that you can see from the website. But here's an animation. That's what I really like because you can actually see how the, the wheels stay planted. Yeah, so you you've got the full uh, width of the tire yeah. always on contact with the tarmac. Absolutely. So the the bottom ones, you, you can see the right hand wheel lifting a bit there. And there's the uh, differential, the side of differential. I mean, people people will say, why a thousand horsepower in a seven? Mm -hmm. And it's because they can do it. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they are really pushing the boundaries. 